Hackers have taken control of a country's power station and destroyed its generators, leaving millions without electricity. That's just one scenario being played out at the largest international technical cyber defence exercise in Estonia. Locked Shields involves 400 computer experts from 16 different nations. They're split into teams, playing both sides of a war game, attacking and defending critical infrastructure of a fictional country called Beryllia. The size of Spain, Beryllia has a number of unmanned aircraft, which the hackers are now controlling. These are drones that are currently in flight um, in the fictional uh, capital of Beryllia. And um, basically the, the clock is ticking. They are going to run out of fuel in about three hours. So un unless the uh, defending team gets control back, uh, they are likely to crash somewhere in the, uh, the neighbourhood. Locked Shields is organised by the NATO Cooperative Cyber Defence Centre of Excellence. Although the centre is funded and staffed by a number of NATO allies and partners, it doesn't fall under NATO's command. We all need some place to train. I mean, if you look around NATO, we have military exercises all the time. You know, tanks moving, airplanes flying. Cyber defenders need to have the same kind of training. And it's best to have a training where you do have a sparring partner, if you will. No national disaster would go unreported. It's the same for Beryllia, where a media team's publishing articles on the chaos unfolding. The press is actually, they are making excellent stories. And first time I saw this, it kind of like gave the grounding. It doesn't feel like an exercise anymore. It feels more real. And I think that makes the whole exercise more exciting. Locked Shields helps nations better understand how to cope with the ever-changing threats to computer systems Though the security breaches happening here are similar to those that threaten us domestically. So if you uh, take your own home network, for example, you probably have more than one computer there. You have access point, which probably also does wireless network. You have printer, you may have smart TV, uh, maybe a home automation even. Uh, your kids' computers that may be uh, quite infected after pl playing all those flash games. So you actually may have someone with foothold already in your network. For NATO Channel in Tallinn, this is Mel Preen.